Welcome to Miller Review Stuff, where I review stuff. Today, I'm I'm opening my first Valiverse figure. Uh, I passed on the line when it first came out. I wasn't like a super fan of it at the time. Uh, I think there was like 2% of the design I wasn't super into, but since then, that part's gone. If you know, you know. Uh, but I missed out on Pandora on the first run of her. This is the reissue. From my understanding, she owned, the only difference between this and the first version was a faction patch, darker pants, uh, darker boot armor, and darker boots, and a little bit of dry brushing, it looks like, at least from the, the picture on the Valiver site. But let me go ahead and release Pandora and uh, see what we're working with. So first thoughts out of the box and after handling her for a minute. I think she has a wonderful sculpt. Uh, the eye detail on this head sculpt is amazing. The printed on tattoos are super, super clear. Um, I think the reissue with having the um, the dry brushing on the kneecaps and stuff, it's just a little bit. It's very, very faint, but it does add to that realism, that lived-in look. I I adore that. And again, let's let's take a look at it. Just just the printed on detail for the eyes are just like wow. The Glasgow smile is super cool. Again, like that, again, look, look, look at those tattoos. Look how clearly printed on they are. It's it's insane. It's super cool. That looks like a DNA helix in the middle there. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. But uh, overall, just out of the box, fiddling around with her a little bit, I think she's an excellent figure. I think it's really cool that she comes with a, like a Akuma uh, knife here. This is really cool. This fact that like, this is like a licensed thing in order to have this on this figure is, is, a, neat, is a neat little add-on there, like a real-world knife design. And it just slides back in there. It's, it's pretty it's pretty tight. It's pretty cool. Um, the one thing I would say is I know like when like the very the very first batch of like Valiverse figures had some issues with like the hands and stuff. I would heat up her wrists. It's not that like her pegs might break or anything like that. It's just that I have bad luck with them. And they're a lot easier just like just a second with the heat gun and like boom, boom, they're, they're like butter. It's wonderful. Um, let's go on to articulation. All right, articulation. She has a ball joint at the top of the head. It's only hindered by her hair. That's the only thing that I, I don't super like about her head is the fact her hair kind of does impede it just a little. It's very slight. It's a very tiny nitpick. Um, I think it would have been neat if she had, like, a different hairstyle that, like, popped on the top of her head or whatever. But, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, it does just kind of, like, eh, a little bit. But if you heat it up, I'm sure you can, like, warp it around if you need to for any kind of shots or poses or things like that. Um, she does not have butterfly joints at the shoulders. Uh, I don't think she needs them. Um, she's built a little bit stronger than, like, your average... Uh, let's say G.I. Joe buck. So I don't think it's something that's needed there. So she has the hinge and twists at the arms that go up so high, spin around, bicep twists, go all the way around, double jointed elbows, pinless, looks great. Twists at the wrist and then the hinge. Uh, she has it on all her hands except the vertical hinged weapon holding hands if it would focus. So... Yeah, got those there. Um, she has where she has a ball joint at the top of the torso and a ball joint at the bottom of the torso. She can go just right. She can go so far forward. Oh, this belt's killing me though. I mean, like the belt's cool. I like that. It's, I kind of like this separate piece, but I kind of don't like that it floats around so much. She goes so far forward. She can go so far back, side to side. She has ball jointed hips, so can go all the way out, 
all the way forward, so far back, and then they also drop down, so you can get her kicking up beyond there if you need to, or climbing over something. It's it's whatever you need to, but it works good. I don't feel like I'm having any issues with them. They have where they're staying, so that's good. Uh, twist at the top of the hip. Well, twist at the hip. Uh, double jointed knees. Real tight. Twist at the boot. Hinge down so far. Hinge up so far. And then you have a very generous ankle rocker. Um, now, besides that, man, this belt's everywhere. Again, I'm like, man, it'd be cool if that belt just had where it just stayed in place somehow. If it had like a little, just some kind of thing. I don't know what, but eh. Now, uh, the other thing with her, she does come with a harness here. Now, I understand it was a little difficult on the original Valiverse figures to get those harnesses on. With her, it's not that bad at all. You gotta pop off her head, though. So, pop that off real quick. Boom. Get that on there. Just a little manhandle in here. If I get it over the right arm there, into the right harness area there. A lot of ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay, now we're to their harness holes here. Uh, originally, my understanding was a pain to get these in. Now on this harness, it was not bad at all for me. So I was able to just get in there. And boom. The harness is on there. And she's all ready for her accessories. So after I get her head back on, we'll go to accessories. So first off, she has two handguns. And what I'm surprised about with handling all these Valiverse accessories, weapons, stuff like that, um, they're not gummy. They're solid as shit. This is hard plastic. This is wonderful. Um, they do fit right into her holsters. So that's one. And two. Uh, she also has this neck wrap that you put on uh, by popping off her head. And it, it sits pretty well, honestly. I'm I'm pro neck wrap. I'm for the neck wrap. Uh, she also has a hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, I can't remember what this is called exactly. Uh, we're going to call it a small scythe thing. I, what is it like? It's, is it a kunai? Is it a, this thing? No, kunai is that. I'm forgetting all my ninja weapons that were adapted into, like, American weapons and such and such. But, um, yeah, she's got one of these. Again, hard plastic, so it's not going to be all gummy. It is going to hold its shape, uh, and it's actually real pointy at the end there. So uh, don't don't stab yourself with a small toy weapon. And then she kind of has, like, a, a silenced uh, machine pistol here uh, with a scope going on there. So that's cool. Uh, none of the pieces are removable off here, but... Just like the handgun, uh, I forgot. To, I failed to mention it does have a hole at the very end for weapon effects and things like that. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably like slap a little paint on the site there if you wanted to. Uh, it's up to you. It's your toy. But again, like it's solid as shit. I I dig that. Let's see here. Next, let's let's run on to some comparisons. I'm gonna swap out her hands. And here's Pandora with Marvel Legends Spider-Man, Mythic Legion's Valiant Knight, NECA Alf, Fure Tori Crocker, Patriot Studios, Super Sad Chainsaw Man, Doug, and of course, Zorana, to compare to G.I. Joe Classified. Um, after handling both of these, uh, the one... Obviously, there's a lot more difference, but, like, the one kind of, like, articulation difference between them is Zorana has butterfly joints in her shoulders, but you can't really do too much with them. It's it's kind of like, you know, uh, what is it, like, a, what's, it, what's, what's the terrible analogy of something on a something that I probably can't see on YouTube? It's that one. Um, but... 
the qual it really it really has where it comes down to it the quality of the plastic with the Valiverse figure outweighs the gumminess of the GI Joe classified figure. I know now this figure is like I think we're at maybe maybe Zorana's two years old and the reissue Pandora. If there is any other running changes, which I don't think there are, besides the paint and the logo, um, the quality is better with the Valiverse figure. The weapons are solid. The joints are good. It has interchangeable hands. Even that's that's one thing that like I I still wish classifieds had where they would do instead of just having a vertical hinge right hand and a horizontal hinge left hand and they're all trigger fingers. I I wish every figure had where it came with those hands, fists, and like weapon holding and or like the 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 carrying hand the 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 support hand like with with Pandora she comes with that like support hand for holding a weapon she has her fists if I can hold them up doubtful fists she has the 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 non gun weapon holding hands Ugh. you just you just get more it has a higher price point but yeah. I understand why you would choose G.I. Joe over Valiverse because of characters. But like her backstory is very interesting. Let me grab the box here and throw it up. So if you want to read it, you can read it. I do love how Bobby Valla has written these. These these are really interesting. If you want to pause it right here and, and read Pandora's file card there, it's it's really cool, honestly. And I do love the artwork on the box. Um, let me, sorry, Zarana. Flip. Packaging art designed by Randy Green, Troy McKay, and Andrew Kramer. Um, it's, it's really good artwork, honestly. I'm, boop, boop. It's super dope. But, what do you think? Do you need Pandora in your collection? Is the price of her just right? to add her to your collection. Again, like I I picked her up because I liked her design and I liked that they had where they redid the paint on there. But again, tell me what you think down in the comments. This has been Billy Beige. I'll see you in the next video.